now. When those bullets pierced the walls of that home, the wounded children went running to a trusted neighbor. Yeah, running for their lives. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner continues our team coverage live from Children's Hospital. And Lee, the neighbor invited you inside her home. Right, Sherry, and it was tough to see. Although she had tried to clean up, there was still blood on the walls, blood on her furniture. There was a pile of sheets on the floor where she had spent a long night. Although there was a Stop the Violence organization that was in the neighborhood today, and they tell me they're going to help her get through this. Came beating on the door this morning and let me know that they called him, and I just started crying. Because I, I, I didn't feel safe knowing that he was still free because he know who I am too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was, he, he looked at me as a threat because I always help her out. Mm -hmm. He didn't like he didn't want nobody to help her mm -hmm. or anything. But that's, that's my friend. I'm going to help her out. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we single parents. We had, to, we had to stick together. We're right. She had eight children. She got eight children. Mm -hmm. Herman Henderson from Stop the Violence came to LaShondra Gus's home Thursday morning. Lord, we just thank you right now for this neighbor. God. He came to pray with her and see what his organization could do to help Gus through a nightmarish ordeal. If it wasn't for the neighbor, you know, a lot of more things could have happened. She stood up last night to, to give information to the police department to make sure they, you know, catch up with this person that committed this hideous crime. And it's just really sad to know that, that there's so much violence in the city of Birmingham. Gus sheltered three of the children in her home after their father allegedly opened fire. She had been there just moments before watching television with her friend Coral and her family. Earlier Wednesday night, the children's father had come to the home and kicked in the door. She was like, Shawnee, you sure you come back? I said, yeah, girl, you know I'm coming back. She said, because I, I, I don't want him to come in here and kill me. And look what happened. That's the last thing I heard my friend tell me before, before and it, and it, and it happened. And now Henderson tells us that he will be back out there with some of his team members to help Gus clean up her home. They're also planning a vigil out there. They tell me that that one is going to be happening tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. back out at the apartments and near the victim's home. For now, we're live in Birmingham. Lee Garner, CBS 42 News.